Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is your Arabic teacher Sam and a very, very warm welcome to the latest video on the channel. So in this video what I wanted to do is just teach you guys how to use one of the most important tools for the Arabic language student. This little book that I've got right here, the hands of the Arabic dictionary, if you're up to a level of bachelor's degree, anything pretty much up to BA, Arabic level, this will be your this will be your holy grail, this will be pretty much. Um, unless you're looking at more classical texts, you know there are other there are other dictionaries that are huge, more than you know, 20 volumes, a very famous one, Lisan al-Arab, and um, there's an even bigger one than that called Taj al-Arus as well. So there are there are dictionaries that would fill that fill this whole table, you know, in, in the Arabic language. It's, you know, the, the language and the extent of vocabulary is so vast that there are huge dictionaries like that. But um, for the vast majority of you, you guys don't really even need to do that. The vast majority of the words that you'll ever ever need are held in in the hands of their dictionary. So this is only an Arabic to English dictionary, um, so it's really, really good for reading. Um, and yeah, but there's there's a quite an important technique to understand when trying to find words in an Arabic dictionary, because unfortunately the Arabic dictionary, or, or certainly the hands of their dictionary and more advanced dictionaries, don't work the way English dictionaries do. So if we want to find a word in the English dictionary, if we wanted to find the word plate, for example, um, I only say plate because there's one right in front of me because I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> so, so we want to find the word plate, right? We'd look in the dictionary for the first letter P, the next letter L, the next letter A, you know, and, and we would require a piece of knowledge. We'd, we'd need to know how to spell it, or we need to at least know how to spell most of the words to be able to find it in the dictionary. But the skill is a bit different that you need for finding an Arabic word in the hands of a dictionary. So the Arabic language, 99.9% .9 of words are a combination of a three letter root, you know, three consonants, and then a template that you would put them in. So for example, you might have a template, and templates are always demonstrated with the three letters, fa, ain, and lam. So we might have a template like the word mefrilun, mefrilun. So the things that are part of the template are the meme, the different harakats, you know, the, the sukun on the ain, or the kasra, um, Sorry, the sukun on the fa, the kasra on the ayn, and the and the tenwin dhamma on the lam. Mefrilun. So if we were to put the letters seen, jin, jim, and dal in there, it would become mesjidun. So we take the root of the word seen, jim, and dal. So that means to do with prostrating. And then the the template mefrilun is the template that's used for places. So we take the verb meaning to meaning to prostrate and the place template. It becomes a place where you prostrate. Hence the word masjid means a mosque, a place where you prostrate. So in the Arabic language, what you need to know is the skill of finding what the root letters are. So if you were to look at the word masjid you need to understand that the letter meme isn't part of the root. You know, and that's really common in Arabic. You know, the, the reason why the Arabic dictionary can't be ordered like an English dictionary is because, I mean, of the dictionary, maybe like, I don't know, maybe... Maybe half of it would be words with meme at the beginning because, you know, 40% of words in the Arabic language begin with meme because there's so many of these templates that, um, that begin with meme. So, so, so that's part of the skill, understanding what are the root letters in it. And, and, and quite commonly, we'll serve you a lot of the time, it's the consonants most of the time. And, it's very, and if there's a meme at the beginning of the word, very, very rarely that. But those are just two little tips. Like, r really, the Arabic student who wants to interact with an Arabic dictionary or even has any long-term objectives in the Arabic language needs to start engaging with, you know, how do I look at a word like the word marbud, for example? And we look at that and we'd, we're trying to think, well, what are the root letters? Well, we know that there's a pattern which is mefrul. We use that for passive participles. The mefrul. My students out there, the mefrul machine. You, you, you. There's, there's a whole lesson with the kids. Like, I take a root letter, like um, um, you know, root letters like kerte and ba, the the root for for writing, kerte and ba, and I put it into the passive participle machine or the mefrul machine, and it goes and it comes out as mektub because they take kataba in the mefrulun mektubun. So my students know that as the mektub machine, but. But anyway, so, so a student would be able to look at the word ma'bud and know that the root letters are ayn, ba, and dal. So they'd be able to go into the dictionary. You know, the, let's do it actually. We'd be able to go into the dictionary. We know that the root letters are ayn, ba, and dal. A, ba, da. So the dictionary is obviously ordered in alphabetical order. Um, you know, so you kind of need to know that as well to, to engage with the dictionary. So what are we looking for first? We're looking for the letter ayn. So let's find it. Okay, so I found ayn. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the Ayn 
part of the of, of the dictionary. So we had a a b. So we're gonna need to look for the next letter b. Ain b. Okay, we're nearly there. Okay, good. So we've got to the ain and b bit. So now we're gonna need a a b and then d on the end. So let's have a look. So. Um, I found the word abed. Here it means to serve or to worship. Abed. And it also tells you how you put that into the present tense as well. So abed, there's a little ooh, so you know that it becomes ya'budu as well. So it has this information, you know, it has the verbal noun. Ibad is the, the noun meaning meaning worship. Ibad yes, means worship. So then here we might be able to see the pattern. We might be able to see the template. Ma'bud. It might be here somewhere. Okay, good. So there's the word ma'bud here, yeah? So we know we've taken the pattern mef'ulun and put abada in it, ma'budun. So if you understand what that pattern is and you understand what the root word is, you know that it's just a thing that has been worshipped or the thing that is passively being worshipped. But, but if, even if you didn't understand that, as long as you knew the three root letters, you could come into the dictionary and you'd find the word ma'bud, worshipped or adored. Yeah, yeah, worshipped or adored, a deity or a godhead or an idol. Yeah, that, that is the definitions that it has for it in here. So, so that is essentially the process that you need to go through. And, and that's a really important process in, in my process of learning a lot of vocab. Um, one of my follow one of my videos that's either either I've put it out already or it's going to come out. I'm not sure what order I put these videos out in, but but either way, I'll, I'll link it up in the description when it comes out. I have another video on how I learn 50 words a day and how I learn 50 words a day, you know, throughout my university as well. And, and a, lot, a lot of it is using the hands of their dictionary to build a vocab list and, and to do that every day. So if you have any more questions, then please put them in the description. If there's anything that, if there are any faults in my explanation or anything like that, huge apologies, obviously, and I'll make amends for it, I promise. If you, you know, I'm very contactable, so put something in the, in the, in the comments or get in touch with me on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever else you please, or by email. All of that stuff's in the description. Just go to the description, have a look, see how you can get in touch with me. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you'd enjoyed this video, I hope you did. Don't forget to like and share it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.